We talk a lot in Brady Haywood about complex systems, but what exactly are complex systems and why is it important to know about them? Well, let's start with a few examples. So a mine site is a complex system, a company is usually a complex system, our economy is a complex system, and certainly large construction projects are complex systems. And we know intuitively when we look at these sort of systems that they can behave very unpredictably at times. We can see behaviour we didn't expect at all. Now why is that the case? Well to understand that we need to understand how complex systems work. So where do we begin? Well we begin not with complex systems but actually at simple systems. So when we have a simple system what we do is we break that system down to its individual components and then by understanding each of these components we can understand how the system works. Not only can we understand how the system works, we can predict how that system as a whole will work. So we would say in these terms that a simple system is the sum of its parts. Complex systems are different and they're different because it's not only the components of the system that matters, it's also the interactions between those components. Now it turns out we humans are bad at thinking about complex systems because we're trained to break systems down and understand how each of their components work. But of course when we break a complex system down to its component parts we lose the interactions, we lose the very thing that makes the system complex because it's these interactions that produces the unpredictable behaviour, the feedback loops, the non-linear behaviour or as we'd say in complex systems terms the emergent behaviour. Now there's a really good example of a complex system which I think we intuitively all understand and that is a sports team. We know that a sports team is much more than simply the sum of the talents of the people on that team. A great team is not only the sum of the talents of the players but it's also the sum of how those players interact with one another because when they interact well that's when we see the magic, the emergent phenomenon of a really great team. So the two key takeaways with complex systems are one, we'll never understand them by just studying their components but that's exactly what we'll do. We need to also study their interactions. And the second thing we need to understand is that these interactions produce non-linear behaviour and make these systems behave in ways we often never think about. It.